Hi all, Julie here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fiction of Fashion, where your favorite books get reinterpreted as outfits. Today we'll be looking at one of my favorite recent reads, Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. On its surface, Fates and Furies covers 25 years of marriage between an artsy couple named Lotto and Mathilde. But in execution, it's so much more. It's a stylish examination of how relationships can take so much and give so much. I played a lot with the textures for this outfit because I wanted to capture the complexity of the book. From the reptilian shoe pattern, to the fish scales, to the feathers, the different skins represent the different faces a person can choose to display to others, even to the ones they love most. In assembling this outfit, I was influenced by two main things. One was the gorgeous cover, which I interpreted to be Mathilde's favorite piece of art in the book. I hunted far and wide for a dress that not only captured this texture, but also looked like something she would wear. I was also influenced by the sea and beach imagery. Lotto is from Florida, and many of the pieces I chose were a nod to his childhood environment. I chose the mermaid earrings because Lotto's mother is a mermaid. Not a real mermaid, but like one of those performance artist mermaids. For the necklace, I wanted to find a really great beachy piece that didn't look like you picked a puka shell necklace off a surfer guy. I chose the bracelet because at its core, the book is about love, it's about relationships and how we are in relationships versus the person that we are inside our own heads. And so I picked the bracelet because it said love, because they're in love. In putting together your own Fates and Furies outfit, here are three tips on how to mix textures. Tip one. Anchor your outfit to a basic color so you can bring attention to the details and not overwhelm the outfit. Tip two, keep the textures in the same color family. And tip three, proportion your patterns and keep them on the same scale. And that's it for this episode of Fiction of Fashion. For more outfits, check out fictionoffashion.com, sound off in the comments, or check us out on social media.